ZooQuest ran to six series and brought plenty of fresh supplies for David's collection. So, egg nor point. I mean, but yes, you don't get any points for that. No, no, no okay. points. All right. Um, well, I mean, I don't know really where to begin. It looks like it should come from some ex almost extinct animal. Yes. Oh. I actually found it myself in bits in Madagascar. Epionis, the elephant bird, really? the heaviest bird that ever existed and the biggest egg that ever existed. Because if you got an egg that was any bigger than that, it would have to be so thick to hold mm. the contents that the young chick would never be able to hammer its way out. Oh, yes, that's right. invalidating the process. Yeah. So how many pieces was it? In, was uh, it quite a lot, I know, 30 I think. Yeah. When they was all found in one place and I stuck them together originally with camera tape. Mm. And uh, it's lived with me yes. ever since. Fantastic. No. By the early 60s, David was a well-established television personality. Now it was time for something completely different. In 1964, the BBC created a second television channel, offering a greater choice to viewers. It received a mixed reception. Some of the programmes were seen as elitist, and there were too many repeats. To breathe life into their fledgling channel, the management turned to a rising young star. Not yet 40 years old, the new head of BBC Two was David Attenborough. It was an invitation that you simply couldn't refuse. And you were offered several million pounds, and there you are go out and create programmes and you say, well, what sort of programmes should I create? And I say, that's why you've been appointed, my dear John. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with having something different for a change? We begin by welcoming everyone who hasn't been with us before to late night line-up. And that was a thrilling opportunity. And what I said was, right, well, what we'll do is make new programmes on either subjects or treatments in a way which no other network has ever done. We're not in the business of producing carbon copies of what already exists. In other areas, uh, in light entertainment, we shall continue to look for the new stars, the experimental stars, the people who try new lines in comedy, like, in fact, uh, the, the two successes, obviously, in The Likely Lads, and not only, but also with Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. Uh, and in every area, we hope to be uh, trying these new things, these different things. It was David who masterminded a dramatic new look for BBC television. Championship point for the third time for Labour. Yes, in July 1967, he oversaw the launch of Europe's first colour television service. It's out. And that's the championship. <laughs> Colour opened up new opportunities. Sports that had been meaningless in black and white became popular viewing. We may not realise just how much David Attenborough created the television we know today. The World About Us was the first hour-long documentary strand. Its success led to greater things. We just did let ourselves go a little uh, and set up a programme called Civilization, which was to show in colour all the, the loveliest pictures and loveliest buildings in the whole of Europe. 